So what will each lab look like? When you open a lab, what will you see? Each lab will focus on a given data analysis step or technique. You will conduct an experiment or experiments to collect some real data on which you can then practice these techniques and skills. These experiments are intentionally simple using everyday objects like nickels and birthday candles and rulers. The exact materials that you need will be listed at the beginning of each lab. The motivation for keeping the experiment simple is to allow you to be able to really understand the experiment and therefore to deeply explore how the uncertainties and analysis techniques work without having to worry exactly about how this or that piece of equipment functions. Each lab will be presented as a single Moodle quiz with content and questions interleaved throughout. You can access all of the lab content, but not the questions, in the lab manual at the link below. As with the textbook for the lecture portion, most of the content is available as both video and text. Choose the format that works best for you. So let's open a quiz. What does it look like? Here I've opened the first lab, and this is what you'll see. You'll see you have the exact same content as the lab manual embedded directly within the lab itself. So you can do it all from the Moodle quiz if you like. So you've got the content, you can either watch the video or read the text, whichever method works best for you. Okay, and then what else is in here? Uh, you can see there's information and then there are also questions in the lab. Uh, you're free to navigate however you want. So you can jump to a, pit, a different page and go back and forth. So here is one of the questions where you will just enter your data. Obviously, this is not auto graded and will be graded when you turn in your lab. Then there are other questions later on. So let's go to a different question. Uh, question 10, for example, on the standard deviation page. This question is computer graded. And for these computer graded questions, you have an infinite number of attempts to get it right with no penalty unless it says otherwise. There are a few computer graded questions where it tells you that there's some penalty, but unless it says otherwise, you have an infinite number of attempts to get it right. The point of these questions is just to see if you understood the content uh, listed in the lab manual. So you could go, you could check, click an answer and click check, and it would tell you immediately whether you got it correct or not. And if not, you can redo it right then and there until you get it right. Please don't just click through, you know, use these questions to understand what you've done in the, in the reading and so that then when you go to apply these same ideas to your own data, you know, you know how to do it. So that's the purpose of these questions. I will also point out that each question ends with an actual biological example. So you will end each lab with some paper where you're looking at some usually biological example and you have to apply the same technique that you did in the lab to this biological example. This is to help you see how these skills transfer from one discipline to another. So that's what a lab will look like um, as you open it up. Again, if you prefer, you can access all of the content and instructions in the lab manual from the web. Uh, the questions, of course, aren't there, but you know, if you want to see them all in one place, that is also an option. This concludes this video.